present. Yeah, yeah, I got Kitch in the house right now. What are you saying, bro? Yes, yes, man, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, man. Listen, I want to tell you guys how I know about this guy. He sent me his music, yeah? And when I tell you, when I heard this track, I think it was, um, what track was it? I Got Flows? I Got Flows, yeah, Brother, yeah. I was like, nah, nah, I need to get this guy <laughs> in. It's different. I'm loving it. Listen, introduce yourself Appreciate to the people. It, I'm Kitch. I'm a rapper from Wolfenstall. Um, unique story about me. I've got a speech impediment, but it's rap. That's now helped me rap fluently. So Come yeah. on, literally, you, nah. I know you was born with that speech impediment, but that mm -hmm. is, like when you rap, it yeah. goes in it. Well, I've got a rap with a beat. Mm -hmm. A cappella. Yeah, yeah. I still start. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear that. Literally, but that's mad though that you're able to still carry out your music and stuff regardless of it, of 100%. that stuff that's holding you back. Like you're 100%. you're sticking to the yeah. grind and you're not letting it hold you back. Like I I rate that highly. I appreciate it. So obviously you've grown you've grown up in Walthamstow, East mm -hmm. London. Yeah. What was that like growing up there? What the, what were your influences around you? Influences uh musically. Mm -hmm. what do you mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, like the grime scene started there, innit? So 100. I'm speaking like early on, I was on to Gets and like the Devilin. Shout out to the Devilin because he follows me. Mm -hmm. sports, Big ups him. Yeah, Chase. Uh, sports my thing. Um, and there was a few artists in there like in Wolfenstall, Lethal Bizzle, Big Tobes. I've met mm -hmm. all of them. They all showed me man. love and all that. So Literally, yeah, man, it's nah. uh, sort of a... Pro you got a community Proper there community kind of thing. thing. Yeah, 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 no, fam. Literally, because your music's hard. I can't <laughs> like, like, out of everyone that <laughs> sent me their music, yeah. when I heard your thing, I was like, that's my favourite song that's been sent to me. I swear. Honestly, honestly, oh, like, I rate it highly. Humble, it's gone man. on my playlist, everything. Thank you. But listen, I know in your music, it's quite personal. Like, you talk about personal things and you're vulnerable in your music. What's that mm -hmm. like? Like, do you struggle to be personal in your music? Like, is it sca a scary thing for you or is that how you express yourself? That's literally how I express myself. Like, so, um, like, I started to rap through, like, my speech therapy and my counsellor gave me a notebook mm -hmm. and said, rather than hitting someone, next time you get vexed, <laughs> write it down. Yeah, That's literally. how I started to rap. Yeah, because I heard you so got excluded from school and stuff. Yeah. You've been through all of that, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's uh, good that you was able to channel that into writing. Of course, yeah. 100, literally. We're going to get into the first track, though. Mm -hmm. Different. This is out on all platforms. Of Tell course. the people a bit about this track. So this one is a story one. Um, me and a friend of mine, Femi Plays, made the beat. They just spoke to me, so I was like, ah. Oh. I need to pour out my heart tell them a bit more about my story but it's still got bars and flows and rhymes yeah, and all that stuff let's, let's go straight into it this is compare me to them dogs i'm a different breed Kitch. yeah i was feeling that one still i'm loving it what, what's that I what's that tune it. mean to you like uh what that tune means to me it was like the first time that i mentioned certain things on my story mm -hmm. certain aspects of my life yeah, and no, as you I said, I'm quite vulnerable, but there's still a lot that I don't say. Yeah, 100. Like, for, like, my own, my own, my own sanity. Yeah, 100. But you got to keep that some things to yourself. Other people yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Now, so you've been releasing since 2019. Mm -hmm. I want to know, how has your journey been so far? Like, and how do you reflect on that? And yeah. Compared um, to where you are today? so in terms of like streams and stuff i've not hit like huge milestones and that mm -hmm. but it's more important for me seeing growth yeah so every year since then i've improved and improved and improved and improved and it's like in three years time i'll be even better and then I want to hit the streams and all that mm. sort of stuff. So let's talk about like your inspirations. Who in the scene right now is like inspiring you and like your work? Um, that song there, 
different that whole story vibe is mm-hmm. sort of like uh, um was inspired by uh, the likes of pot of paper Hundred. benny banks and all that sort of sound yeah what do you um, think about pot of papers like new hard, new album hard he hard, he's he's not changed since all the, all the training day like mm-hmm. original mixtapes and a friend of mine put me on early so i've just been a huge um pot of fan and ever since he's he's been out of bin he's just been on it no literally it's crazy he, he keeps it so real and have you seen his documentaries and that oh of course yeah yeah, yeah he has documentaries yeah, out yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about like his whole lifestyle and how how he moves about and things he's a great representation of that lifestyle without glorifying it mm. so he'll show you every aspect yeah yeah i hear that so you you actually have like a documentary yourself yeah well a small one but yeah yeah like with with the bbc right could you tell yeah, us tell us a bit, yeah. a bit about that so the bbc hit me up in 2019 um on twitter i was like who the hell is this <laughs> trying to lie to me and i thought oh damn like it's actually the bbc um and then yeah we just uh had a few meetings i went into the offices and we filmed a little documentary but i've got a um a new documentary being released soon Jeez. and it's all editing and that i can't say when yet what's it about but i've got a new one it's it's just more in depth mm-hmm. so the bbc one was about four to five minutes mm-hmm. the next one's around 15 what's the, to- like, what's the depth. topic Kind it's of. about me uh, growing up with a stammer and how I how I use that to now become a rapper and mm-hmm. the influence that I've got. Yeah, 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 I hear that. Now listen, we're gonna get into the next tune. I got flows. This one is mm-hmm. my personal favorite. I cannot Come lie on. to you. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about this and we'll get straight into it? So I got flows. Uh, clues in in a name in it. It's just me spraying bars, showcasing what I can do. Honda, let's get straight into it. I'm feeling that. That's kids. I got flows out everywhere, guys. Go out stream everywhere. that up. Listen, you were saying in that song, fully independent. Mm-hmm. What's life like as an artist being fully independent, having to do everything yourself the promo all of that um it's hard but it has its perks Mm. but everyone thinks although i say i'm independent i still have like a manager and stuff Mm. i literally have no one it's just me so i do all my bookings all my promo all of this sort of stuff it all goes through me emails everything so it's hard but fingers crossed it'll be worth it in it yeah 100 percent. and you were saying as well you do all your en- like you do quite a lot of your engineering mm-hmm. and you have your own studio and stuff mm-hmm. how did you kind of build like the ability to be an all-rounder kind of thing so it was all from like studying music in college mm-hmm. um and then i've literally just handed in my uh degree jeez come on this morning in, this morning uh, yeah this Aye, morning guys big up, big up to kids <laughs> um in music production okay scene so i'm gonna learn well like i've learned i can make beats i can yeah, yeah. engineer mix but like all that sort of stuff is good for a side hustle but mm-hmm. i rap yeah yeah that's my main thing all right listen i know you got a ep coming coming up am i am i wrong you are wrong unfortunately no it's been way scrapped. It's oh, been you, scrapped. Scra- you scrapped it nah why uh, why, why, it. why um it's not ready yet okay it, scene. it's not ready yet i'm my worst or my harshest critic and it's got to be perfect mm-hmm. but it's coming it's it's gonna 100 percent. 100 percent. it's gonna it's in the yeah, works it's so in the works what what is in the works at the moment that you can say is coming like very soon so i've got a new single um called away that's gonna probably drop next month um, I've got a few more singles in the cut. Um, I got a f- I'm uh, I'm gonna experiment and have a little drill phase. Mm-hmm. I've got a few drill songs. 
um i said the documentary as well b- b- and just shows and more shows and, and grinding yeah, grinding 100 percent. like what's in store then like what's the what's the big goal what what is your like dream my dream is just be able to li- uh live off music uh tour the world and just raise a happy home i guess isn't it i hear you all right listen this next song away it's not out yet so you guys are getting exclusive. exclusives exclusive. but it's coming out next month but if you want to go follow kits tell them where they can follow you so all my socials are kitsch underscore official um i've got a website kitsch official for all the music merch and everything got merch out as well listen if you want to go check out his merch you can see it on the youtube video as well it's going to be up on style and pattern come, come on. on go 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 cop that go cop that uh, this is away kitsch unreleased exclusives here on represent sound of the underground you're listening to mars Faye.